The Yagobot Packbot was first used for cave clearing in Afghanistan. They used to tie a rope around our soldiers and send them into a cave first. And, you know, the Taliban were hiding weapons caches in the caves. Uh, there could be ambushes, booby traps, and, uh, you know, just n the last occupant could be an enemy combatant. And so um, when the soldiers got to the mouth of the cave, they started calling for the, for the robots. And they sent the robots in first to get a look at um, you know, what was on the inside to get more situational awareness. Now the robots are being used for bomb disposal over in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so instead of sending a soldier up to a roadside bomb, they now they send our robots out. So the soldiers stay at a safe standoff distance and the robots exposed to a potential um, life-threatening blast. So these robots have now been credited with saving the lives of dozens and dozens of soldiers. This is your attack camera. That's the camera on top of the arm. And this is your turret camera. It's the camera down on the chassis. Some simple things greatly advance technology sometimes. And we woke up one day and we discovered that, you know, there are thousands and thousands, well, millions and millions of teenage and early 20 Americans out there with thousands of hours uh, playing video games. And that same interface, watching a display, controlling with hands that people do in gaming, is the same way you can, can control a robot. So one of the giant steps for us was getting a off-the-shelf uh, Xbox or uh, uh, other game controller and now using that as a way to control the robot rather than an old, very cumbersome interface. Something's not sealed on it. 